Hey guys, this is Gaurav. Welcome to SaaS with ServiceNow. This is our follow-up session of ServiceNow Service Portal Training. Before I start, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Gaurav Tripathi. I have 9.5 years of experience in IT with 6.5 years of experience in ServiceNow Architect Solutions and Project Delivery. In this session, we are going to talk about pages, ServiceNow Service Portal pages that how can you create pages what are the contents of the pages what are the components of the pages and how exactly the layout looks like in pages what are we going to learn so in this video i'm going to talk about that what is a page page designer and then page properties we will have some follow-up sessions on the page topic where i will create a page with some layouts and as you know the service portal is totally dependent on the bootstrap so we will have a separate session after this video just on the bootstrap just an overview of i'm not going to train you the uh, bootstrap but it will be just a quick small session on bootstrap that how service now has used bootstrap what is a page a page is a unique url it it contains uh, it shows the contents on a single page it is used for the portal development and it is portal independent the styling on the page is done by themes so if you remember you learned themes in the previous sessions when you mention the theme of the portal it automatically inherited in the page then you have display widgets and layout that means the page shows the widgets and the layout that's what it shows and that is called a page which shows all the contents or all the all the uh, like features you want to show to the end users that's what it, it has and that's called a page how to create a page in service portal you can create pages in different ways now one of the basic way which is as per the service now native ui you have that under service portal application you have a module called pages if you will click on that module then you will get list of pages you have in service now instance and you will also get a new button when you click on new button you'll be able to create the page it will also open up the native ui the core ui you have of service now that's what it will open that form to submit the form another way which you can see that is page designer now when you will go to the uh, service portal configuration it shows you the different sections different components like page designer uh, branding editor other things like creating widgets now one of the section we have is page designer so when you go to designer it shows you when you click on that you will be able to create a new page or you can edit the existing page page designer now, in order to create the page, ServiceNow has given you a lot of really good functionalities and capabilities so that you can create a better uh, page in ServiceNow, which, which, is, which will give a better UI, UI experience to the users. So as you can see, this is the page designer. Now, how exactly you can go to the space designer? I will show you a recap again, which I showed you in my previous section, but I will show you again that how exactly you can go before I, st uh, before I start talking about page designer. So let me show you in my personal developer instance. This is my personal developer instance. Now, in order to go to praise designer, I need to click on service portal configuration and this is the designer you have this page editor but we are talking about page designer when you will click on this page designer you will get the same page which we are talking about that means welcome to service portal designer here you can add a new page and if you want to edit an existing page you can also edit from here you want to search it you can search by title or id right here so this is service portal designer a page designer where you can edit your existing page or create a new page let's see the different components of page designer so as you can see this is the page designer but we will talk about the components of page designer at the top we have header 
and in header we have different components like we have SP now this section shows the current portal so whatever portal you have selected currently that will be shown here as of now it's SP that is the name of the ID of the portal that is what it is showing over here then we have home this is the current page that means whatever page you have selected it will be shown here as you can see this is the page it is the page of security portal and that's what that's the reason it is showing the home page then we have edit so if you want to edit the page that is the option we have then we have preview page so if you want to see whatever you have developed and, and this changes the contents or whatever uh, configuration you have made you want to see that how end user will see that that you can click on preview and then you'll be able to see that how your page is looking like so it's kind of a live coding experience you are you are you are making in in uh, service portal that whatever page uh, you are developing if you want to see how end users will see you can do it with the help of preview then we have portal properties what if if you're working on this uh, portal and portal page basically and you want to change some settings of the portal that you can do with the help of this button you click on it and you'll be able to see the portal properties and you can change it then we have page here you can change the page properties so if you want to change the properties of the page then you can do it directly from here the what exactly fields we have for these page properties we will see it later and for portal properties you already saw in my previous section about portal fields and forms that's what we saw that how, what exactly you can change in portals then we have end user view now this preview shows you the exact that how exactly this page would look like but you really want to see that how uh, end user will see in the url that you can do directly from here you click this button it will open up a new page in new tab and it shows you the exact page and that you can see that how end user will see so it is quite similar to preview but it just opens up in a new tab then we have element selector now this is also one of the section of page designer where you can select the elements now what kind of elements you want to add in your page that you can decide from element selector even in element selector you can select the widgets that's the most important thing in service portal the widgets are the main main component of service portal where you have to write the coding and where you have to uh, write the html coding which will be visible to the end users then we have page layout now what kind of layout you want to show for the users that's what or you want to create it for page that you selected via page layout you have to pull it and you have to drag and drop it's just it's just a drag and drop functionality provided by ServiceNow. now uh, the layout you can select it and that's what you can do and this you can uh, do with the help of page layout the next we have is canvas now this section is the main canvas page where you see or the end users see the complete page so this is the canvas whenever you will develop something or whatever content or whatever element you will uh, like add in this particular section that you will see in canvas and this is the preview so we were talking about the preview that how preview would look like now you can see it is not showing that element selector it is not showing anything else it is just showing that how this page would look like to the end users and one of the important thing which i can tell you and which you can, which you can see at the right top as of now it i think desktop is selected now this is the really good functionality of service portal and if you remember we already talked about it that is device optimization that means or device uh, alignment basically so whatever portal you are developing in your desktop you can see that how this particular view will be there in your mobile or in the user's tablet so you have three different devices in the right top that is mobile tablet and desktop so if you want to see that how end users will see this portal you click on preview and then select that device page field and form now what kind of fields you have in page and how that form looks like 
So this is the form we have for a page. This is the native UI we have. That is the core UI of ServiceNow. This is not service portal uh, UI. Now, the let's talk about the fields we have. The first field we have is title. That is the title of the page, which will be visible to the end users as well. Then we have in uh, ID. Now this ID is like a unique ID of the page. If you have created some of the pages, maybe in some other platforms, maybe in WordPress, you, as you know, all the pages are visible to the end users or even you see those pages, they have some IDs so that we can recognize what page is this. Now that is the same ID. So it's a unique ID of the page. Then we have application scope. So in what scope? So it depends if you have global scope, you have, it's global will be selected. If you have any scoped application, that scope will be selected. This checkbox make this particular option or maybe this page as public. So what if if uh, if you want to make this particular page publicly uh, uh, like published? So for example, anyone can access it. Even any person is not from your organization and you want them to see this the page, then you can just select public, which will be publicly uh, pub published. Then we have draft. Now this draft is something, for example, you are still working on, on the page. You are still editing it and you don't want users to see this page. In that case, you can select this checkbox and users will not be able to see this page because that will still be in draft mode. Then we have roles. So this is just to page access. So uh, like it might happen that you don't want this particular page or whatever page you are developing. You don't want every user to see the page. If you will make it blank that every user can see it. But if you want specific users to see this page, then you have to select the roles of those users. Then we have short description so you can put the short description. It is just like a description about the page. It isn't uh, like it's not visible to the end users. Then we have page specific CSS. Now, as you know, we have styling. We can do styling with the help of themes which can be inherited on the page. But if you want to uh, put some styling specifically for the page, then you can do it with the help of this section. So even if you have a theme, but if you want to mention some different styling for a particular page, that you can do it with the help of uh, page specific CSS field. Then we have dynamic page title. Now this is just to use to generate titles, which depends on the content loaded on the page. Ideally, I have not used it uh, as of now, uh, but this is also one of the field if you want to use it. Then we have page content. Now this is, uh, I would say really important section uh, of the page form basically, because it shows you the content whatever content you have uh, added or whatever elements you have added in your page that's what it will show it will show you the complete contents and as you can see on the screen we have an instance that is how can we help that's a different content or different element maybe it's a widget and then we have uh, one of the instance that is search these these are the contents it shows you that what are the things what are the elements you have on your page page editor now if you remember that we have on the page basically uh, portal configuration we have a uh, page designer and page editor both have different functionalities when you go to page editor you can it shows you the map view of the page that how your page like shows the different elements or different sections as you can see we have four containers in this particular page it has different rows and then columns and then different elements which you have added or maybe the different widgets which you have added in your page that is what it shows you so if you want to check what all widgets what all elements you have on the page you can select page editor and you can see it now if you want to edit any of the content like the properties of any of the element you have on the page you just click on that element and then it shows you the form at the bottom and then you can just edit the properties now when you go to service portal configuration you will get this page and this is the page editor if you will click here 
it shows you this page now you have to select the page that which page editor you want to see then you can maybe select the index for now I will select this now this will show me the contents and this is the map view and if I will click here like for example how can we help now I can change the properties or that particular uh, for that particular element so this is what page editor is and how exactly you can uh, edit the page and their properties and see the map view the next section we will talk about is overview of bootstrap and page layout and as I mentioned, I will also show you a demo in which I will create a page and show you how exactly ServiceNow Service Portal uses Bootstrap and the layout to create the page. So thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe, like, and share my all my videos and channel. Have a great day.